More details are now emerging about the man who allegedly killed his brother in Poland on Thanksgiving. His ex-girlfriend says that he lived with severe mental health issues that she claims were ignored by authorities for years. James Corrigan joining us live in studio. And, and James, you sat down with her today. What did she tell you? That's right, Terry. It was Thursday morning in Poland where 34-year-old Justin Butterfield allegedly killed his brother Gabe Damore in his home. And those who know Butterfield say that an incident like this has been coming. His ex-girlfriend today telling me that despite repeated pleas from herself and her family, the authorities and healthcare facilities never realized the threat Justin was to himself and to others. I don't truly think Justin's responsible for this. I know that his physical body did it, but his mind was not there. For the last four days, Aicha Preventure and her family have been living their worst nightmare following the alleged murder of Gabe Damore on Thursday by his brother, Justin Butterfield of Poland. For eight years, she dated Butterfield and had a child with him until 2018 when his mental state took a turn. He started um, getting really paranoid and telling me that cars were following him and he started writing down license plates kind of progressed from there. In 2019, Butterfield was diagnosed with schizophrenia and the isolation of the pandemic made his episodes worse. He went on a high speed chase in Bath, um, believed aliens were after him and was hiding in the frigid cold in the water. How long were his stays in the hospital? You know, that lovely 70, 72 hour hold, 72 hour hold and you're out. The only person I did get to talk to was the caseworker at Midcoast Hospital, and she had originally called me and told me that they were going to hold him involuntarily. The next day, I got a phone call again from the same woman telling me that he was being released. And I begged them to keep him, and I told the lady, I told that caseworker, I said, he's going to kill somebody, and that's going to be on you. And she knows who she is. <laughs> and she said, well, I hope not. And I said, it's going to happen. As recently as Tuesday, Preventure said Butterfield broke into her home and stole her cat. Once again, without repercussions. She says that despite at least five hospital visits and dozens of run-ins with law enforcement in just the past year, the long-term help he needed never came until it was too late. Did the system fail, Justin? Yes. My the system failed my whole family. What should have happened is he should have stayed in a long-term facility and really showed that he made progression before he was released. Um, because now somebody's go dead. I mean, somebody's gone. Now, Provincia told me that despite Butterfield's episodes and consistent run-ins with the law, that neither law enforcement or the healthcare workers believed he was a danger to himself or others, Butterfield is now being held without bail at Androscoggin County Jail. Terry?